Hello, it's Bev again, Clark Revision. Uh, another video, and this one I was not expecting to be the next video at all. But when I just got done with my last update video, um, it was near lunchtime, I went down the stairs, and just uh, before lunch, this van drew up and delivered a parcel. And it was, I'm looking at the guy at the window, and I'm like, well, it looks like a, a, a record shaped kind of thing. And I'm thinking, I haven't ordered anything at the moment. I'm not expecting anything right away. So, I, um, what I've done is, um, just for being extra paranoid and all that stuff, I've, um, opened it and lifted the whole lot out of the box and disposed of the outer wrap immediately and it just for um, possible coronavirus blobs being on the outer so it's it's all here and I've just covered the top of it with my um, high and dry so I can't see it too well I have glanced at something but this is it okay in a white box for Jim Davies um, the guy is unreal, so um, uh, this is a surprise. I wasn't expecting this. Um, so, as I say, I've tried not to look at it. I did glimpse something. Uh, I think it's a CD, and I caught the side of it, and uh, so. But that's all I've managed to not look at anything else so we'll just get started on this now and um, first of all there is a thing and it says spoilers so um, let's go into the side right away let me just sort this long computer that's what may do some click here right that's fine um so I'll just use this as my cover so we've got bubble wrap here let me try and Remove a piece. I'll just chuck that on the floor and I think there's more. No. Right, so right, I'll lift up this one. <laughs> right, that's not for me, so that'll just go to the side. Now, let me just check. There's another one with the notes, I just want to... Okay, okay, okay. Right, that one as well. Uh, and I'm just checking, I don't think there's any more stickers. And as it just so happens, I've seen... Ooh! These... Right, that's cool. So these two, I'll just... Uh, put that out of the way as well, make sure it doesn't get the camera. So, right, I'm hoping nobody saw anything there. But, uh, so the first one I've grabbed here, a band I don't have anything of. I've heard the name, Firewind, and if I'm right, they'll have somebody in the band that I know of, I think, I could be wrong, but I have heard the name Firewind, and uh, yes, they are on the list to check out. So um, this is sealed and it's Days of Defiance. Looks like it's got bonus tracks. Um, 2010 it says here, no hang on, 2012 I think. Uh, Century Media. Uh, Prisa or Prisa Discos. Um, Magic Arts Publishing, Century Media, and something else. So I'm really not sure what pressing this is, but it could be Argentina, maybe? Something about Argentina down here as well. Anyway, I uh, am interested in this very much, so this is cool. Um, I will be checking those guys out. Lovely. I mean, this is really quite exciting. Right, next, next, next. This one I caught a glimpse of just there. Um, but <sighs> Preachers of the Night by Power Wolf. Um, I do not have this one, so this is definitely a cool addition. Um, yeah, 
uh, napalm records. I'm looking to collect pretty much all the Pillar Wolf. They're another band I've just really gotten into. Uh, heard one or two of the songs off of the live disc I've got up there, but I've not heard everything on here. This is 2013, this one. Napalm. Truly catchy and intense album. Furious, epic, heavy and wolfish up to the max. You need some power wolf in your life, people. Thanks, Jim. That's magic. Super. I think I remember you asking me about that right enough. Um, what next? What's this? What's this? What's this? Oh, cool. Check it out, people. I've got a dive bomb records. <laughs> da -da -da -da. This is Crows. Yep, Crows, The Dying Race, German power metal classic for fans of Angel Dust, Scanner, Halloween, Riot. Sounds good to me. Magic. So I've no clue about this band. Um, 2013, but that'll probably be when the CD was released. It's a deluxe edition, so it has eight regular tracks and you've got um, about seven bonus tracks. That's the, the track listing and the bonus tracks are on this side. Sorry for the glare people. But yeah, looks like an interesting uh, album as well. So super, nice one. What else have we got here? Try this one next. Ah, this, I think this is the one I saw. But I saw this. Yeah. And he's got me the 30th anniversary disc on CD, which I don't have the CD. You know, that is so nice. Because um, I've got that many hysterias, I wasn't particularly bothered about getting this. Certainly not right away, but Jim being Jim and being just wonderful and and Love and Death Leopard, I will take this, that's for sure. So this is, um, yeah, just slightly different artwork to the original. It's the modified, it's obviously got the clear jewel case. Um, <clears throat> I think it's a picture CD inside as well, from what I recall from the images. But yeah, this is just the uh, standard album, 12 tracks, because I, I know there was, I think there was different versions where you got the live one as well and all that, but yeah. Absolutely lovely. And uh, and again, it's never been opened. Amazing. Thanks so much, Jim. That was brilliant. Um, so we've got some more CDs here. What have we got here? We have... Hmm, never heard of these guys. It's a dive bomb again. Superior. <coughs> Moral Alliance. Uh, dive bomb records. 2014 release. Uh, so it's, it's like maybe an EP. You've got five tracks at the top here. And then we have some live bonus tracks, tracks 6 to 12. So I think you've got about seven live tracks and five regular. Um, so again, it's a band I have no clue of. I'm assuming it's maybe power metal, traditional metal kind of idea. Um, but yeah, that will be super to look forward to. Perfect. More goodness. Right, where are we? There's one more CD here, I think. And it is. Oh, yes. I've been wanting this for ages on vinyl or CD. Yes. This, um, I think this is my favourite Joan Jet album. So this one I really wanted to get. Because um, I remember all these uh, songs. Little Liar, Hate Myself for Loving You, um, what else was there in here that was just, oh, loads of them, I can't even remember, but yeah, I still dream about you, you want and I want it, yeah, cool, 1988, I don't know what pressing this is, but it does, it just says 88, so I don't know if it's a, a later version maybe or not. It kind of looks like old style with a barcode down here. 
got it um, digitally mastered analog record. I don't know, this could be an early press. I'll find out eventually, but it doesn't matter. It's it's very welcome. Yes, I love that. Superb. Again, it's sealed. Jim, these are fantastic. Right, I can I think I can remove my high and dry now because I've reached the I reached a stiffener. And under here there's some vinyl, so um that down there. Here we have yes, we have this is cool. Let me just flip them out here. We have Halloween, and what is this one again? Master of the Rings. Now, I don't have any Halloween after um, the noise years, um, at least I don't think I do. Apart from their latest live thing that came out, um, but as in albums, oh yes, he did say to me a while back he spotted this somewhere and asked if I would ask, oh yes, definitely, oh this is magic, so this is BMG Sanctuary, uh, where are we, 1994 originally, so this is a 2015 reissue, it's brand new, yep, superb. Let me see. So there's the inner um, magic. It's good stuff. We've got, I'm just looking at the pictures, you've always got a pumpkin. Um, there's Andy Davis, who's the singer at this point. I can't remember if all the original Halloween guys were. I know there's one or two of them. But I, I need to go and check all the names, but yeah. Fantastic, absolutely brilliant. And the record is it's 180 gram um, thing there. Um, so yeah, superb. Well, that's fabulous. Absolutely brilliant. <coughs> just lay that down there for the moment. I'm just going to set these CDs there. So the record sits nicely. <laughs> this is unreal. What have we got next? What have we got? Oh yes! It's unreal! It's a Japanese present. She is going to love it. Cliff Richard. Of course, Jim now knows my mum is a Cliff Richard fan. I don't want to speak too loudly in case she hears me rambling, but I don't think she will. Um, she's down so. But to get this a Japanese issue as well, oh, that is unreal. I think, is this the one where the cover opens up? I think it might be. So this is kind of 1970s Cliff Richard. I know she doesn't have too many albums from the 70s for them. Excuse me, Mum, while I just have a quick look at this one. And the rest of is, yes, you're getting to see it too. So here it is. Yeah, I think it, it's the right stiff card. Look at that. How 70s is that? <laughs> yeah, I remember uh, this cover did have that. Because um, I think I saw it. It would be James Griffiths that did the Cliff Richard feature recently. Um, yeah, oh, that's tremendous. Tremendous. She's going to love it. She really is. Um, so, I mean, yeah, and I think in here you've also got the um, lyric sheet thing as well. So, I'm dabby. They're too good. <laughs> I'm frightened to look at the next one. Oh yes. Another one I've been hunting for for a long time uh, and never actually got is um, Brian Adams' Into the Fire. Never had this album. <clears throat> I've had most of the others. Um, yeah, but this one, and people say this is a really good album to have, so yeah. 
remember some of the songs off it, but I've not heard everything on here either. So this is quality. Superb. And I think well, this is 1987, yeah. And uh, that's the band, and we have, um, yeah, the lyrics, the band in the credits, and we have, what have we, AM Records here, yeah. Super. Lovely. The vinyl looks really good, just a bit of a wipe down, and we're good to go. This is a Canadian pressing too. Yep. Super, because it's got half French, half English writing on it too. So. Plus it says Canada there. <laughs> that was a bit of a clue. Oh, magic. Super. Absolutely magic. Uh, there's a couple more. Gems. Oh, yes, this will be good. There's a couple of these I've put on my wants list. Nice one. Strength of Steel. Um, is this the second or third or fourth maybe even? This is 1987. So yeah, Dream, I dreamed it was the end of the world. Sounds like an interesting song. Yeah, but there was again this one's it's in the shrink. It's been opened and played on, but this is one of these ones where the person I think's kept it in the shrink uh, for extra protection. And we have the collage lyrics. This is this is cool. What else have we got here? Enigma Records. Metal Blade. It's Enigma. Uh, oh, it's Metal Blade, I think. Marketed by Enigma. Well, that's a collaboration, shall we say. So. Superb. Yeah, um. I know Anvil have just released their new album and I've, I've, I've heard one or two mixed reviews about it. A couple of folk think it's really good. A couple of folk bit cheesy um, but the first one I got which was um, from Cloudy my older he sent me can't even remember the name of it but um, it was their debut and that's a really good album and so I'm hoping that the ones I've got on the list which I think of the other early ones um, it should sound pretty cool <coughs> And is that it? I think that's... Oh, oh no. Ah yes. Right, that's it. Cool. <laughs> that's, honestly, that's fantastic. Jim, I'm bowled over with all this. I'm real. <sighs> Look at that. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much, Jim. That was a complete surprise. I was not expecting that just now. Um, not, not at all. Um, and yeah, these are, these are all going to be well, well welcomed at the moment because I'm just, you know, um, going to have a bit of spare time on my hands. So um, I don't know what to say, but uh, these CDs will be getting spun very shortly, and the um, the dive bomb ones. Uh, I am interested very much to know what they're all going to sound like. And obviously, these are not that one, and that one's the dive bomb. And these these two are the dive bombs. So excellent! Thank you very much. And without further ado, I'll sign off for now. I mean, you know what Jim's like. He's he's unbelievable. Uh, oh God! One second. <clears throat> How did be here are some CDs and records I thought you would enjoy. Uh, 
Yes, that was right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, honestly. Hope you like the music and get many hours of listening and enjoyment. All the best to you and your family, Jim. Yes, and the same to you, Jim, and I hope you are all staying safe and keeping away from this horrible coronavirus that's taking over the world at the moment, but uh, we shall overcome together. Right, guys. Bye then. <laughs>